I was gifted three red-footed tortoises, and we've just built this simple cage here. We've got everything at Home Depot. I think the, the whole thing cost me 150 bucks. Made a cage about 14 feet in diameter with 50 feet of two inch by four inch wire, and then about a dozen of these little stakes to hold the wire in place. But I'm thinking next year throughout my garden, having, um, having several of these, maybe a dozen of these, and there will be, it should be magical. I remember going to Camp Kennan and looking at the red-footed tortoises and seeing how beautiful they are. And I can't believe I finally got three of them. And they were gifted to me, which I am very grateful for. Uh, it's killing me I don't got plants in here yet, but don't worry, the next video, we're gonna have this filled with all types of tortoise safe plants. I was very surprised how hard it was to find tortoise friendly foliage. Here's what I could find. Bananas, mulberries, almost all succulents, but in particular, the elephant food or portulacaria. Figs, both the plant and the fruit is edible. The same thing with the mulberry, both the plant and the fruit is edible. This is a sedum, tortoise safe, almost all sedum safe for tortoises. And the sunset aloe, but this right here is too pretty for my turtle enclosure. I think I wanna keep this for my garden. Okay, now I'm gonna go over several plants that are not tortoise safe. And I was surprised how long the list is. In fact, Probably half the plants or more than half the plants in my botanical garden are not tortoise safe. This is the turtle enclosure that Caesar built. It has three slider turtles in it. They're all doing fine. But as I did my research for tortoises, half the plants or more than half the plants in here are not good for tortoises. Lantana, poisonous to tortoises. Alocasia, poisonous. Copper leaf, poisonous. Guess what? Bacopa, you got it, poisonous. And even the Chef Lyra has high levels of calcium oxalate, not safe for turtles. Pontideria cordata, the pickerel weed, yes, is safe for turtles. So the sedum is safe for tortoises. This Tratus canthia burgundy is safe for tortoises. But this Portulaca has the um, calcium crystals in it, not good for tortoises. So I need to do my homework and put the proper plant in the proper enclosure. As probably most people know, hibiscus safe for most reptiles, including tortoises. And we have plenty of that at the nursery. Now that we got the tortoises in their new enclosure, I'm gonna replant the palm trees we took down before Hurricane Milton came. This was a very depressing day before the hurricane came. We pulled, we put everything in the ground, it took two days, and then in a matter of hours, we pulled everything back out. But it probably was for the best because this is a very expensive planting and I wanted to avoid a catastrophe. Okay, so the first thing that goes back up are these magnificent Washingtonia palms. Some over 40 feet tall. All of them over 40 feet tall. The smaller palms to the left and the right of the Washingtonia are different types of Livestona palms. Chinese fan palms, Nydia palms, Fluval palms, ribbon palms, all part of the Livestona family. Once we got a rhythm going, it went really fast. We were able to rebuild this whole garden in one day. It took about 15 minutes to strap a palm, lift the palm, dig a hole, and plant the palm. I love those Washingtonia Robustas. They grow to be 100 feet tall in Mexico. I've never seen them taller than about 70 feet here in Florida. But still at 70 feet, 
It's the largest palm tree in Florida. They live to be 250 years old. That's Washingtonia robusta. They grow three feet a year. There's a desert band palm, and that does not, that does very well in California. It does not do well here, but the robusta does very well here. These here are my Beccario Phoenix, the frozen coconut. They, they look a little bit like a coconut, but they're much more cold hardy, good to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And they're from Madagascar. And they were discovered in the year 2004, which is hard for me to believe because that wasn't too long ago. And it was grown at a high elevation. So it has the common name, high plateau, frozen coconut. The Latin on this palm is Beccario Phoenix Alfredii. I'm very excited about them. I've, 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 I've never had them this big before. They're really hard to find, but a fantastic plant. I hear you can grow it as far north as coastal South Carolina. The next planting here are the queen palms. I've always had a fondness for the feather palm, no. and a queen palm is a very cold, hardy feather palm. Good for Central Florida, growing as far north as Gainesville. And these are my giant Washingtonia robustas that I'm putting in between the queen palms. We have short queen palms, we have tall queen palms, and above it all is the giant Washingtonia robusta. You put it in here, or you stack it like that. It's coming in the middle. Let me see. Give me a chance a little, please. I thought I need to have somebody more in here. I need the more per one more person. So I need to put the water for the whole palm trees. And I can have a lot of beef in here. I need to put the stay, and I need to make it something circle for the palm trees. I call somebody for the coming maybe after lunch. I need the help. So these here are my queen palms. You see, I went tall, short, tall, short, tall. And they're from Brazil, hardy to 25 degrees. So at first I was calling this a Mediterranean garden, but so far nothing in the garden is from the Mediterranean. Everything in the garden is hardy to about 25 degrees or, or, or less. And to put in the very front of the queen palms, we have one King Alexander palm, another cold hardy feather palm that is greatly underused in Central Florida. Our Conto Phoenix King Alexander palm. So it's very rare I ever get to do a do-over, but right here, we're planting our six Washingtonia palms. We're gonna make it look like a reclinata, but we're gonna plant all six of them into the side of the hill. I hope I like the way it looks, because I liked the way it looked the first time. Hope I like this one better. So the focal point of this whole garden is I'm gonna stand all the way back there. Back there, about 200 feet back. And I wanna look down here and I wanna see a whole array of palm trees. This palm tree right here is our centerpiece. So it's important that this palm here is gonna go right in the center of this planting and then everything will be planted off this first palm tree. So Corey's gonna put an extension boom on his machine because now he's gonna have to reach in over the top of that hill. And um, I wasn't here the last time he used the extension boom. He says it looks really cool. So we'll take a look and see how it looks. All right, did you chain it again? Yes, I changed it again, Caesar. I changed it for the better. Well, that's bad on the top. We're going to do three on the top, two in the middle, one in the bottom. That's fine. That's good. That's cool. 
So we made this flat shelf here that's maybe four feet off the ground to elevate our Washingtonia centerpiece. The set, can we have the center like right here? It's taller than the other one. Pull that one out and put this there. Okay, let's do it. I want the centerpiece to be the tallest palm in the array. And we just eyeballed it and we made a mistake and we did not put the tallest one in the center. So we have to pull it out and redo it. Caesar, where's the, where's the big tape, the big round tape? I'll give it to you, you put it in your trunk. Yeah, I'll give you three times different kind of tape. You, I don't know where you put it. Put it in your trunk. Okay. So we're gonna swap these two palm trees. This palm tree is 40 feet tall, but unfortunately that palm tree is 43 feet tall. So we're gonna swap these two palm trees and then we're gonna measure them in the future so this does not happen again. You wanna go all the way for the yeah, leaf? Oh, yeah. No, no, to the first leaf, to the first branch. Right there? Yeah. 37 feet. Thirty-five and a half feet. Same spot. Yes, Caesar. Yeah. Thirty-four. When we measure the palm trees, we're measuring the trunk, and then you add six or eight feet for the head, the green head on the top. So if we say it's a thirty-seven foot palm tree, it's a thirty-seven foot trunk. And then you add um, six feet to 43 or to 45 to get the overall height. They sell the palm trees as feet a trunk. They also sell the palm trees how many feet overall. Well, let's see if we're gonna put one here. Or right here. Then we put another one right here. Where would this one be? Would this one be directly here or? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna try to curve this away from that one to the right. Then we're gonna get another one and curve it away from that to the left. Hey, I think that's, I think that's the wrong direction. I, 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 um, it has a natural curve and I don't think you're showing it off. Can that spin 90 degrees or not? Towards, towards the green, um, no, counterclockwise. When any time we plant palm trees, it's very important that we get all the air pockets out. And we do that by using a hose and just, just trying to force dirt to go down and fill the air holes. This is pretty tight. Sometimes if there's air pockets in there, you put your foot there and your foot just sinks right in there. Can we lift it and spin it a little? Spin it, um, so what's that? Um, clockwise, my way clockwise. So a week has gone by since the hurricane hit to we're actually replanting here. And some of the lower leaves have turned brown. A lot of times the lower leaves turn brown when you plant a palm tree due to stress. Um, but we're going to cut off all the brown leaves before we hoist the palm tree up in the air. But can Jim get it and pull it around like this? So it fills that spot a little bit. I like the curve. We'd have to redig it. He already oh. buried it. Well, I mean, it's going pretty good. Right, you're working, you, I hired you for today and tomorrow, right? Yeah. 
So we got tomorrow too. So you wanna pull it back out? So I went down to Vero Beach and I handpicked all these palm trees. I was looking for Washingtonias that had a little bit of curve to them. So when I put the trees together, it will look natural. Well, that was palm tree number five. The next will be palm tree number six. So this right here is the Puerto Rican hat palm. They grow about 30 feet tall. They're known for this big fat trunk up to 30 inches in diameter. They're from obviously Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominic Republic. And I'm trying to put a line of them. So you walk down the center path here and you're gonna see three, three on the left and three on the right. I have six of them today, but I got four more on order. So I'm gonna put five on the right, five on the left. Planting this 15 feet on center. Okay. And the So these here are my Cuban hat palms, grown for the big fat trunk. These trunks here are about 18 to 20 inches in diameter. They can get as much as 30 inches in diameter. And I got three on the left, three on the right. The path will come through here to reveal my Washingtonia Robusta clump. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.